I am happy that Rainier is here now because we have changed the capacity of um, female involvement in our own town and it's continuing to grow like wildfire. Hey, so here we are back again over the barrel here at Rainier Arms. And um, we're starting a new thing, which is called First Friday. You know, First Friday happens all over the planet. You know, whether it's a car club getting together or a motorcycle uh, guys getting together to have a beer. But now we're going to do First Friday here, where, which you guys get to meet some manufacturers and some people inside people in the industry you don't necessarily get to meet. Um, Today I got a great special guest with me, um, someone who means so much to me, um, even more so than Joe Barnes' father did when he was here. And uh, Anitra Ayers is here with me today, and uh, she's going to represent. She is representing the company Dead Eye Designs, which is uh, an, a, a company that has partnered with Rainier Arms in order to get the um, the Jersey market uh, or get Dead Eye Design into the Jersey market in the United States. So. Welcome. Thank normally you. I, normally I shake people's hands when they come in here. <laughs> I'm not going to shake your hand. I want to kiss your face. Oh, thank you. I love you, baby. <laughs> so, um, Anitra, yes. tell us who you are. Give us a little one over the world on who Anitra is. So, uh, new to the firearms industry and the textile industry, my background has been in human services, nonprofit, and healthcare management. So excited to move into this industry and a new partnership um, with Rainier and with you as my husband. So, so many people would run away from that, right? I mean, dang, I got to work with my spouse every day. They'll probably get tired of us, right? I, that's my fear that she'll get tired of me, and, and then uh, it'll be some um, 16 to 18 year old boy toy that she runs off with. Not really. She's. Uh, I don't think she's got time for that kind of training. But uh, for the most, all kidding aside, um, uh, we met through the industry. Um, uh, is from happenstance a meeting, and we developed our relationship, and we became a, a married couple based on that. We even got married at Shot Show in '23. How about what a, what a scary. Uh, thing to do. I mean, you got to take your spouse to SHOT Show. I didn't then... think that through because every year now we're going to be celebrating our anniversary <laughs> at SHOT Show. I didn't think that through. <laughs> oh my God. It's so good. So it, you, I kind of interrupted what you were saying. I need to know who you were. Are you from Wichita? I'm born and raised in Wichita. I uh, have been away from Wichita, but I always gravitate back here mm -hmm. to what I like to know, to be known as home forever. So why is that, you think? Because of our, the, the family that we have here? Absolutely. Um, kids, grandkids, parents, uh, grandparents. Mm -hmm. um, it, we just gravitate to what is comfortable and what we know. So I, I, Wichita is such a, such a big, small city. Um, when I say that is, it's, we'll go places together and we see some of the same people. This town is giant. It's a half a million people. Or more, maybe. And yet we see some of the same people. They recognize us and we recognize them. And, and uh, it's, it's been really fun to uh, develop uh, this, our, our relationship, one, and then now develop our business relationship, number two. I think it's going to be fantastic. We're going to spend a lot of time uh, in the car together, so we better get along. That's right. <laughs> um, so what else? Uh, you went to school here, right? Went to school here, started college here, mm -hmm. and developed my career in many different aspects right here in town. What's up with your shooting? Do you shoot a lot? I love to shoot. Loved. You'll oh, find hold on, me. Hold on now. Before you met me, <laughs> did you love to shoot? Because I, I kind of like a virus where that's concerned. I did. I actually okay. um, became involved in firearms uh, well well before I met you, and it was always an interest of mine. It was about building independence and um, empowering my self confidence. So you would find me on the range, uh, learning more and more about firearms. But what I found was that the places that I were going, that I was going, was very intimidating to to the female, mm -hmm. and it, they weren't very welcoming. So uh, 
I am happy that Rainier is here now because we have changed the capacity of um, female involvement in our own town and it's continuing to grow like wildfire. That's fantastic. Now I know you had uh, circumstances we don't necessarily need to get into sure. that caused you to be more, uh, take more responsibility for your own personal safety. Let's talk a little bit about that. What are your feelings on personal safety? And uh, just tell me a little bit how you feel about that. So I believe personal safety is our own responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, I know in our county alone, it takes nine and a half plus minutes for any kind of law enforcement to respond to an emergency. Um, a lot of things can happen in nine and a half minutes. As a female, we are viewed as maybe a, a weaker or a lesser being and people see us as food. Predators see us as food. Um, so it's been my stance here in our community to help grow um, knowledge and education and what that looks like for females, uh, especially my daughters, mm -hmm. and what will be my granddaughter growing up that it's our own responsibility and, and how do we do that? And whether someone believes in firearms or doesn't, um, we can show them how to take care of ourselves mm -hmm. in a bad situation. I think that um, you're, you hit the nail right on the head. Um, if you outsource your personal safety to someone else, you're really setting yourself up for failure because most people are gonna take care of themselves first and then whatever they else they got left over, they'll help out with. Right. And uh, we find that in many, many uh, bad situations across the world, whether it be a war somewhere or whether it be a natural disaster in places, we always have That's to right. be prepared to take care of ourselves, whether it be for food or protect ourselves against predators, the four-legged kind or the two-legged kind. Uh, right now we have an uptick in, uh, in um, stalking and uh, people being followed around in stores and whatever. And I, th I think that's a very disturbing up uptick in that trend because people are trying it out, right? The predators are trying it out to right. see what they can get away with. Right. And so both of us have been very, very vocal recently in telling people, that, hey, you don't have to put up with that. Right. right? Tell them that you're watching them. And that's them exactly out. right. Um, it's been um, my experience that we want to grow the opportunity for people to use their voice and use their stance. If you see something out of place, say something. Um, if someone is feeling uncomfortable and they come to you, well, just bring them on in say, oh, come on, daughter, or come on, mom, I've got you. Let me get you to your car. And that's what we need to do as a community. Everybody has the opportunity to do one, one extra thing a day, and it doesn't cost any money. Nope. Whether you're opening a door for a, a someone who needs assistance or you're helping someone uh, load their groceries into their car, like you were saying. Right. Or maybe you just saw something that doesn't look right and you get in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. uh, those things that are something w that all of us can do in order to just make our world just a little safer. Yeah, not everyone is situationally aware, mm. but if we have our heads on a swivel and we are situationally aware for the people around us, uh, maybe we know them, maybe we don't, and we step in, that's the kindness that our community needs to see. Yeah, and it's, you're right. People would think it's the opposite of kindness because you're situationally aware and you're always looking at things in the critical and maybe a, um, a more of a paranoid realm, but it is out of kindness and love that we do these things so that we can support one another. Right. You and I train together, all right? And because you're, I'm your backup. I was gonna, I used to say you're my backup, but I've been watching you shoot lately. <laughs> So I think it's you. I'm your backup. Right. So I carry Battle my, buddies, for I'll sure. I'll carry, your, <laughs> I'll carry all your magazines if you need them. Right. right. I can do And that. toss me one. Yes. <laughs> Another story completely. Yes. What an epic event. Right. As a matter of fact, you know, she shoots so well that um, all of my guns are now hers, except for the one I'm, I'm able to carry every day, so I don't even let her see it. Uh, and you don't like to carry the pretty ones. No. I'm not going to carry the pretty <laughs> ones. That is a beautiful gun, right? This gun's awesome. Got a 1911 grip angle. The grip is done by a mischief machine. The pistol's done is a Sig Sauer macro that's got the in integrated uh, comp on it. It's perfect for her. The sight radius is right. It get, comes optic ready. And then we married it up with the right grip so that now she's got the same grip angle with that as she does with her staccato and she does with her 1911. So they're all very similar and she's able to really get the most out of that gun. And a good friend of ours named Roger Seward from Seward Defense did the, did the uh, 
uh, Cerakote job on it and you can, I don't know if you could tell in the lights that we have here but it's a chameleon type color and what really is sickening to me sometimes when I think <laughs> about it is it matches her motorcycle and her water bottle matches her motorcycle and some of the other things that we purchase matches the bike yeah uh, matter of fact the color palette you have on today is kind of matches your motorcycle right <laughs> it is absolutely adorable to me so uh, but enough about that. Let's talk about uh, what you got, what you currently do for a living. So can you tell me about um, what uh, Dead Eye Designs does and why they're in the United States now? So we're really huge in Europe and Asia, and now we're growing into the U.S. market mm -hmm. with uh, the partnership with Rainier, mm -hmm. but we are a sublimation printing jersey company and textile company. What's sublimation? So it is like the example here it is the print within the fabric itself mm -hmm. not the uh, vinyl iron-on or stitching like you would see in border yeah so, so this is it this, doesn't this lives fade. with the fabric yes it lives with the fabric um the fabric itself is uh, antimicrobial so it doesn't get smelly maybe in that's a range bag to, that's important to me yeah it has some stinky two-way stretch in it so that you can move and groove on the range yeah. and also um, it has SPF 35 in it huh. so when you're outdoors maybe at a shooting competition or just wearing it around I know my mama wore it on our cruise ship <laughs> <laughs> That's she right. loved it so much and, and it was so flexible and easy to move in that she wore it on vacation um, but all of those great benefits um, live within the fabric. Man, that's fantastic. Anytime you can put some uh, integrated uh, SPF on board, makes gingers like me feel, go feel good. Right. I know it doesn't look like I'm a ginger anymore, but I <laughs> earned all these gray hairs and, uh, um, and, my li and w through life experience. And uh, yeah, the sun still tries to mess me up whenever it gets a chance. So what I love about these things is your imagination is the only limitation. Right? That's exactly right. We've been able to take uh, original artwork that um, maybe you have uh, an artist in your family or an artist on your design team for your company, mm -hmm. take logos and incorporate them into printed jersey work. Um, we have some amazing things coming out for Rainier. Uh, super excited about the projects that we're working on. And yeah, your imagination is the limitation. Um, I designed the one that I have on today with the um, ombre kind of color palette. Um, the flowers are actually the uh, hollow point petals. Hollow point petals that come out. It looks a little Hawaiian, a little florish, but um, it is not. It is, uh, yeah, it is. The Whenever flowers. they get to that point, it's mm -hmm. doing stuff inside of someone that's <laughs> that's really not necessarily as pretty as what you have on your right. on your body currently. Right. So. I like that. I think that's cool. Yeah. So many people don't understand what they're looking at. They say, wow, that's a crazy looking flower. I'm like, no, a flower. Look a little closer. <laughs> but don't look too close. That's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, she she's in a male dominated um, industry currently. And but based on who she is as a person and her personality, there's going to be absolutely no reason that she won't be successful out here. Plus, I'm not going to allow her fa to fail. We're going to we'll be successful together. Um, talk a little bit about, um, well, I'll talk about it since it's, uh, since Rainier's relationship with Dead Eye Design. So I met these guys, Joe and the owner of the company, at SHOT Show two years ago. We were actually looking for jerseys for my ladies group here at the range, mm -hmm. which you'll see right here, the Lead Angels here, coasted here at Rainier. We we're looking for some competition kind of jerseys and and things that would make us look a little more uniform. And the the cool thing about that is uh, is that we happened upon them, mm -hmm. right? And then we developed a relationship with them right on the spot. He understood that he wanted to get into the U.S. market. I understood that there was a void there that needed to be filled very quickly because customer service in this industry, this part of the industry, not necessarily greatest. So. I felt like there was a way to get in there, so uh, I talked to him a little bit more about it. He wanted to develop a relationship, and over the next year, we figured out what that has to look like. And now Rainier is um, the North American conduit for Dead Eye Designs. So basically, what we're doing is we're sharing leads and making references and and getting our partners to team up with Dead Eye Design to get 
jerseys for their shooters, jerseys to put on their website so that shooters that are fans of their brand can grab a shooting jersey pretty inexpensively and pretty quickly and be able to go on the range and shoot and then uh, show off their favorite logo. And uh, who do we have right now? Uh, primary, uh, is it Primary Weapons? That's PWS. PWS is the first one. And uh, their, their shooters are, um, are not only are their shooters going to be wearing the stuff, they've designed two different Hawaiian button-up shirts, sort of like mine, but they're Hawaiian-looking shirts, but incorporate their logo and their commodity that they manufacture, which is a fantastic rifle, into the, into the print of the shirt. Very, very unique. Very, very uh, uh, cool, I would think, most literally and figuratively. Very edgy. Very edgy. So um, I think that uh, the, the world needs it right now. We take ourselves just a little too seriously. So uh, I believe that what we do, what we're doing with this brand and what we'll do in the future with it is, is very, very exciting. Um, what I'll tell you, uh, what I've said in other uh, over the barrels is the people uh, behind the company is what matters to me the most. Okay, uh, makes an easy decision. I chose you. Right? That's all right. Uh, so when they chose you, it was easy for me to say, "Oh, that's the right. That's the right decision." Right. It comes. It has come full circle for sure. And on top of that is what the people who run that company. They're great family people. They love their families. They love their. They they love their community to the point where he employs people that wouldn't necessarily get employed in that in that uh, industry. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So our company encompasses from start to finish from our artist boards, from our artists, all the way through production. Everything is done in-house. Um, he doesn't source anything out. Mm -hmm. um, and the coolest thing about our artists is that they're all hearing impaired. Um, and they work in an industry where they can use their imagination and just roll out some phenomenal and amazing products um, that they would maybe not be employed in other industries, but he has um, handpicked them and they are giving us the best products right now. What impresses me about the design team is that you can give them your mind's eye and they come up with something way better than you could ever imagine. They really and, do. And, I, and, and with them not being seated in the R in the uh, man, uh, the military or arms yeah. and ammunition uh, uh, industry, they come up with some of the coolest things. Uh, I cannot wait for the Rainier Arms Firearms Academy shirts to come out. Amazing! I can't wait to put my name on one and put it on my back. Absolutely, really cool. I know I'm wetting a lot of whistles here. I yeah. know everybody's like, "When is it coming?" Yeah. But we just approved the design today, so within a couple of weeks we should have them. Um, what else do we need to know about Dead Eye Designs? Well, I was finished talking about the people. The people make the company. The company culture within Dead Eye Design is, is what makes that a company that I want to be attuned with. I, in talking with Joe, right, mm -hmm. I heard our owner's voice in him. Mm -hmm. He's a serial entrepreneur. He, he wants is. to do best for all of his company um uh, employees and he wants to build a successful company right here in the United States. He does. All the same things that our boss wants to do. Right? Now I'm not a butt kisser. <laughs> right? I, but I get to tell the truth when I can't. Our goals have definitely aligned in the U.S. market um, with both companies mm -hmm. and the growth is um, going to be through the ceiling. So I'm, I'm super excited about it. Can you talk a little bit about what the future leads, uh, how the, what, what the future plans are without well, being too specific because things sure. can change. Absolutely. So I've actually been able to attend a couple of trade shows within mm -hmm. the last few weeks and um, hit the ground running with this team. They are super responsive to all my requests. And when I go to the artist and say, I need a little tweak here and there, man, they roll it straight right back out and we can be responsive to our customers. Um, we have about five or six great big projects that we're working with industry partners right now. Our main goal is to um, be on everyone's website with their own individualized jersey so that we can advertise for them and they can advertise for us. So we're working on those marketing and affiliate uh, partners. But most of all, um, we're looking to put out a great product here in the U.S. I'm working with several colleges and shooting teams um, 
So if anyone knows any uh, shooting teams that are even just leisure, uh, we're working with high schools shooting teams, college shooting teams, and it doesn't necessarily just have to be in the shooting industry. We're, we're looking at other dynamic um, sporting um, you know, activities that we can impact as well. Um, archery, fishing, especially having that SPF, people out on a boat. What about swimsuits? You guys doing bikinis yet? Yeah, uh, we do have a template for bikinis. Right. Um, might have to have you be our booth babe and model I'm that. A, I'm, a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm, I'm between a 2X and an XL currently. So right. if it takes a while to get this, I should be an XL by then. Right. Right. So um, I'll tell you that um, one of the things you didn't cover, but I will, is that Joe's in, uh, reinvesting all of the money he's manu making in, during, in, in this program back into his infrastructure in the Philippines. He's, he's bought a, a business park um, plot of land and he's building a, a, a manufacturing facility that will be twice the size of what he currently has, twice, twice the size of the footprint. So uh, that tells you that one, He's reinvesting in where he's uh, where his family is, right? Absolutely. And two, the the strength of this business will be there forever. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, uh, some of these other guys are made in the USA. Okay. Mm -hmm. But no one in the industry can do what you guys do. I don't believe. From the time that you say that design is ready to go and it's beautiful, give it to me now. A month or so, you get your jersey. Right. We really shoot for 21 days, um, from approval of design to your doorstep. So, you know, if you know you've got an event coming up, you want to outfit your employees, you want to outfit um, your shooters, get in touch with us. We're going to roll out our website link with Rainier pretty soon, mm -hmm. and um, that'll be an easy click and go. Also, it's not just shooting jerseys. It'll be long sleeves are available, sure. um, jackets are available, bay leaf um, hoodies are available. So. So that, that leads me to something else that's not shooting related. So if you're yeah. a lifestyle brand, and we've done this for a, a friend of mine out of Central Texas, we take your logo that you've had a hard time getting anyone to print something on, right? And they make it happen for you in a fashion that one, is befits your brand and your vision of it, and two, it's fast, economical, and the customer will be happy. That's what I love about that. But none of this shit matters if we don't uh, tell everybody how to get it. That's all right. So tell them how to get it. So go to the link on the Rainier website or go to our store, ded.store on the webs and find us. Pick out one of the many prints that we already have available and customize your own. Add your own logos, add your own sponsors, add your name. Um, so everyone can see you and what's really cool about the shooter shirts is that if we flip them around You've got your you can put your name on your back your sponsors on your back um, Because the camera is only usually seeing you from behind when you're shooting down range and it's personalized That's true totally personalized. Uh, I have to be careful what I put on mine <laughs> right so uh, which my jerseys are in the mail currently so I should have them in very shortly and then after I you know once I I go on a range and shoot with them on they'll be asking me to leave but they'll remember the jersey at least so get in contact with the Renee with Anitra do uh, you want to give your email address out? sure it's a n i t t r a at d e d dot s t o r e you can um, find us through Rainier yeah you can go to rainierarms.com Right? You can go there and there will be a banner. You can click on that link. You can send me an email at gw at rainyarms.com and I'll get you over to Anitra who will take care of you. Any of my industry partners, anybody who's seeing this that's interested in getting one or 101 jerseys, just get in touch with us and we can make that happen for you. That's so, one thing that's so great about mm -hmm. our company is that there are no minimums. So even if you just needed one jersey because you like to move and groove and you want to put your name out there, and you're trying to make something of just your individual self, or you need 200 or 500 or 1,000 jerseys to fulfill your own customer's needs or your own team needs, we can do it, but there's no minimums. What I like about that option is, one, we know that the company's well monetized because you get paid whether you sell one or 101, right? Or 2,000 or whatever. So you get paid the same, right? Maybe that's, hmm. Maybe you should renegotiate that later. <laughs> But anyway, be that as it may, um, 
I find that companies that are well monetized and take care of their people are more successful. So uh, in this case, we, we have that for sure. So with, with our partnership and what we have going on um, together and going forward, where, where are they gonna see us next? Where can, you, where can we see Dead Eye Design next? So you can find us walking at the show at the NRA in May down in Dallas. Uh, we will be tootling around, introducing ourselves, uh, making our brand known, and uh, introducing our partnership with Rainier. And one thing that happened yesterday. Little do you know that the Gun Owners of America uh, uh, Firearms uh, Association is having their own trade show down in um, Knoxville, uh, Tennessee, Tennessee, right? That's right. And that's in August, middle of August, right after Sturgis. We're going to be back from Sturgis. We'll be nice and tanned, probably sunburned a little bit, just on my, my side. But uh, we're going to be in, we'll be down there in Knoxville with a booth. So you'll be able to come by, check out what we have to offer, and then get a, get a jersey from Anitra. No one could tell her no, especially me. <laughs> so I loved, I loved this conversation that we had. Do you have anything else you want to add? I don't. Um, other than we just we have a lot of different fabric fabric options yeah. um, for the active lifestyle, and so don't let your imagination limit you. Um, design something super cool. I think it's cool that you could take like we talked about this a little bit before. But your imagination is your only limitation. Yeah. I think I have a great idea in my brain until they come out with the design, yeah. and then I'm like, I never thought about that, but that's really cool. Right. So. Um, I know what I, I don't necessarily know what I want a lot of times, but I know I like it when I see it. Okay. Just like this one. Right. So I really appreciate you taking the time to spend with us today. Uh, it, um, not only are you my business partner going forward, you know, you're the part, you're part of my life that, um, uh, I'm very thankful for. Mm, grateful for you too. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> I usually shake their hands right now, but I'm not going to do that. Aww. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. <laughs>